What's going on world? I'm George Kills. Season 2 of Sneak Peek is finally underway. Over the next few months, we'll reveal footage from a well-known hip-hop artist, a college basketball legend, a reality TV star, plus a few others. For episode 1 of season 2, West Coast artist and Compton native Game invites us inside to a floor full of phones before showing us three other closets. Check it out. Okay, nice kick. Season two of Sneak Peek is underway, and we're out here in Glendale, Cali with Chuck. Yeah, How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Appreciate y'all coming out, man. I heard you have a crazy collection of shoes. Yeah, man. I got, you know, I got some here, some at the other crib, man. Usually, you know, I end up just overstocking, man. Sometimes, you know, the homies take shoes and or ask can they have shoes. But, uh, yeah, kicks, you know, having nice kicks ain't, uh, I ain't no stranger to having nice kicks, man. Yeah, so three, four closets, let's check them out. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to get right into it, man. We're going to go straight into the phones. You know, one time on uh, Instagram, I threw all my phones into the uh, into my hot tub, man. And I just, uh, I think I posted, like, phone bath or something like that. But, uh, man, I got pretty much everything, man. That's when it comes to phones. Um, Penny was, like, my, fa my favorite basketball player, you know what I'm saying, in, like, eighth, ninth grade, man. Um, everybody wanted to be Penny, Lil Penny, man. So, you know, when the phones started coming back, man, I just... I just went dumb on them, man. My favorite pair might be um, these custom joints right here. These is nasty. You see them once, you ain't gonna never see them again, man. It's G.I. Joe shit. You know, these is, these is nasty, man. It was crazy, because um, Penny had the first $200 shoe from Nike. And uh, when you're in eighth grade, man, and you you know how money was back then, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't balling. That's when you asked for like a pair of J's and your mom was like, you can get that on your birthday. You know what I'm saying? But your birthday wasn't until November. It was like January, but you were still cool with that. So when the pennies hit at $200, man, I had $100 that my mom gave me for the shoe because she couldn't believe it was $200. So she gave me $100. And she was like, I don't know where you're going to get the rest of the money from. And so uh, I just waited until she fell asleep and I just borrowed another $100 out of the purse. I paid her back, though. You know what I'm saying? What I laid out right here is uh, I'm a big fan of Barkley, too. So I laid out like the three dopest Barkleys that came out um, within like the last 10 months. Um, so these right here, man, Barkley Posit Max. These was crazy. Um, these are the most recent right here, man. These is dumb. These is crazy, man. Like, this is sick. It, this this is the shoe that takes me back to like that first, um, like when I first bought the, uh, you know, those pennies, those those first phones. Like it was just that, you know what I'm saying? Royal blue and it's just that, ew, this is an ill ass shoe, man. And uh, these barbies right here, I got a shout out one of my homies, Milk. Cause I didn't even know these was out, and uh, he wore these to, uh, you know, uh, one of the Drew League practices, and uh, hooped in them. And I was like, mm -hmm. crazy. And um, uh, so Lance found them, and then uh, I copped them, man. My old school Barclays was the was the was this shoe right here, but it was uh, all black. You know what I'm saying? And this when he played when Barclays played for Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? And, it was just hard, man. I wore them every day, toothbrush them every day. And uh, even when they got old, I put I put so much shoe polish on them shits, they turned leather. If anybody that ever like really, really been on your kick game, if you shoe polish your black, um, your black shoes, like black suede, you know, for long enough, then you know what I'm talking about. Them shits turn to leather. Like you can turn a suede shoe leather with shoe polish. So next up, um, we're gonna get into Air Force Ones, man. These are in no way, shape, or form all of my Air Force Ones, just a few that um, you know, I think are dope, man. And uh, you know, we can just get right into it, man. These right here, man, straight seamless, man. Tattoo joints. I think I got like three pair of these um, in different colors and everything, man. My favorite pair down here is definitely got to be the Jamal Wilkes, man. It's that classic Laker purple, man. It's that gold, you know what I'm saying? While we wait here, let me, let me go get something real quick. Hold on, just give me a second. I know you can hear me. I will bring you the shoe. I'll bring the shoe that Kobe scored 81 in. Niggas ain't got these for sure. Oh yeah, Paul George, you know what I'm saying? This ain't bought from no store. My homie PG, keep me laced up with the Pacers gear, man. That's my dude. Um, you know, he from out this way, you know what I'm saying, Los Angeles County, straight up from out there in uh, Palmdale, um, Lancaster area where my moms live. But yeah, man, Air Force Ones, man, everybody know the Air Force Ones is like the most classic Nike, you know what I'm saying, that you could have. So um, I got like a thousand pair of Air Force Ones, man. I mean, when my first album came out in 2005, 
Air Force One is the shit. And um, if you don't know nothing about Dr. Dre, what you need to know is that he wear Air Force Ones to this day, every single day, fresh white pair, every day. Brand new. Pair of Air Force Ones to Dr. Dre is socks. Like when he take them off, it's, they wrap. So, you know what I'm saying? Air Force Ones, I'll let you know, man. They're comfortable, they, they dope, they classic. This is my Jordan closet, man. And um, I just got J's for days in this motherfucker. I got three Jordan closets. I got um, three, ki three cribs in Los Angeles and um, not enough space for all my kicks. So I got a Jordan closet here, Jordan closet at my uh, crib in the valley. And then one more in the city, man. All the J's are kind of in order, man. From ones to twos to threes and like that. We kind of try to keep it um, real organized in here, man. And um, that's it. Or those, everybody needs a pair of these, man. When these came out, I bought seven pair. Cause this, this shoe right here, if you really like collect Jordans, you really, you know, love shoes, man. You know you can wear this shoe with any color, any shirt. Everybody know what these are, man. You guys I had them in? Oh yeah. I got like 10 pair of these, bro. These came in from L Book. You'll meet him in a minute. Bread 11s, fives, super nice. More old ass ones, and look, all my ones is like old ass ones. Like these is old, like really old. These haven't came out like the last year or two. They all really worn. And uh, these is like grocery store, you know what I'm saying? Shopping, go get the kids from school, the ones. So L Boog tell me that four is your favorite J. It's my favorite shoe. It's also like my favorite, like it came in a favorite box. Like all the fours be coming in the L box, man. These is the illest force ever. The cements, man. Crazy. Dumb. Retro. Sick. You take that off, you're a buster. That's it. It's the only way to rock them, man. It's the way Jordan would have rocked them. And I think if he could have hooped in them in the league game, he would have. With that on it, man. Another pair of my favorites simply because, you know, my favorite color is red for, you know, uh, dis disclosed reasons that everybody might know. Hold on, what's these? Oh shit. Nasty. Oh. <clears throat> Got these from Jesus Shuttlesworth himself, man. I knew him because uh, I was um, real cool with Sam Cassell. Like, I'm real tight with Sam Cassell. When Sam Cassell and Ray Allen played for the Bucks, man, um, I got cool with Ray Allen and um, that was really dope to me because when he got game came out, everybody wanted to be Jesus Shuttlesworth. My absolute favorite pair, sh I mean, favorite Jordan ever in life. If you got a pair of these, I will buy them for you, buy them from you, no matter what. Concords. This is my favorite J. It will always be my favorite Jordan. Nothing will ever change that. Nothing will ever come between me and this shoe. Not a girl, not nothing, not money. How you doing, baby? The Yeezys, man, I think that, uh, I think the Yeezys is a dope shoe. As you can see, when I had mine, they became like the most worn shoe. I don't even know how that happens, but it happened. I'm a Yeezy fan, that's the homie. I came up in the rap game with, uh, with Yeezy and, um, you know, so I don't buy my Yeezys though. I get them from Yeezy. You know, it's the only way to do it, man. What's the collection you've seen that's kind of rival yours or it's pretty big? You know what, man? Um, Fat Joe. Fat Joe got some kicks, man. Every time he see me, he look, that's very, we don't even, he see me and then he look down. I see him and I look down. He always got on, you know, uh, you know, some kicks, man, that, that I, I either want or I've been looking for, man. And I think he do it on purpose. And I think I do the same thing. So when I know that I'm gonna see him, I'm definitely wearing some shit I know he ain't got. And check this, we, in season one of Sneak Peek, we did DJ Ski. And Ski was quoted by saying, how can Game talk shit about Vine? Because I used to get him shoes. You know what? That is true, man. Ski used to get me shoes. But uh, the key word in that sentence is used to. You know what I'm saying? Usually when Ski called me now, he like, yo, did you get the... And I'm like, yo, I had them for like six months. And he like, oh, when they come out, we'll go get them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ski my man, though. You know what I'm saying? The Ski Locker, the Game Locker. Number two lockers, man. It's like head in the head. Jeremy Scott's. If you know about Jeremy Scott's and you know about these, hating ass niggas to say what they want. I mean, you gotta have... If you, if you collect shoes, you gotta have the Jeremy Scott's. My daughter got these, my son got these, and I got them. So if we ever want to do like, you know, 
and we can rock these. But I just feel feeling that swaggy. Shout out to Emily over at Adidas, man, for always hitting me up. The Romanelli custom kicks right here, man. I gave him my uh, my Dr. J Converse. Um, I gave him my Jordan jersey and a pair of Levi's, man. And he kind of put, he cut the uh, jersey up and, uh, you know, replaced what was there, um, you know, on the black suede with the, with the jersey material. Um, Dr. Romanelli is, is one of the dopest custom designers, clothes, shoes, anything, man, in the world. And uh, when you get a, some product from him, you got to pay, you know, really close attention to detail. So he knows that I was a Jordan fan. And so he even on the tongue, 23, you know what I'm saying? Two loops there, three loops there. My Jordan jersey, which I did not want to cut up, but I did it. Dr. Romanelli, man, you got to do it. And last but not least, one of the most talked about uh, shoes in my rap career by me is uh, the Air Max 95, um, which I got about maybe 20 pair of. Um, they kind of just, they kill you with these because they just fucking change this color right here. And they just put them, you know, keep putting them out, man. You got to buy them all because they dope shoes, man. Um, Air Max 95s, man. Most of my time spent gangbanging was, you know, in this shoe. But um, it was in the three, it was in the um, four layer grays um, with the red accents. Not specifically this shoe, but almost close to it um, if, if the orange was red. But um, this is the shoe that I rapped about in uh, Hate It and Love It, which is probably like uh, one of the biggest songs of my career. Um, and it's that line, you know what I'm saying? I told Point 95, I'll kill you if you try me for my Air Max 95. So anybody that's never seen the shoe that I was talking about, this is it. And uh, you know, I got quite a few pair of these, man. And so game, you're obviously in the kicks. We yeah. see that. But I see you on Instagram posting some other stuff. Yeah. What's your other collection consist of? A few, few nice whips. Yeah, because you got to have nice kicks, nice whip, nice watch, nice everything. And to do that, you don't necessarily got to be rich. You just got to work hard. You know what I'm saying? It's not my favorite car, but it's people's favorite car of my cars. A lot of people like this car, man, and hate when I don't drive and ask, when I'm bringing the Panamera back out, when are you gonna bring the Panamera back out? So for the last week, I've been driving the Panamera. Over here, man, we come walk out here. I don't even want people to get too close. You gotta see this one through the bars, man. I got that Fisker Karma, man, electric, all electric. No gas money. Brand new, 2013 what it is. I try that one like when I go get with like Ocho Cinco because he be pulling up in his little smart car and shit, Prius, and um, I do the Fisker. We got a ghost. Crazy thing about this is when I bought it, they told me that you wasn't going to be able to see it because it, it was a ghost. Shout out to Lexani for the wheels, 24 inch revolvers, man. Everybody got to have a Cayenne, man. Carmelo and Lala got a Cayenne. Yeah, man, it's just like the everyday grocery store whip right here we got that Bentley man that Bentley GT so game man we like to thank you for letting us start season two off with you man yeah it's all good man it's only right nice kicks man nicekicks.com check it out they got anything on there anything anything dope you need to know about kicks any new releases coming out anything that you need to see that celebrities got or any shoe period man that's where you go right. more sneak peeks coming game georgekill nicekicks.com Holla. I'm about to go buy some shoes. <laughs>